In this video, I continue the story about how the ancient Egyptians imagined the afterlife. Last time we met the god Osiris, the ruler of the afterlife. Osiris is the head of the afterlife court, where decisions are made depending on the moral qualities of the deceased. This idea was first formed in Egypt but will develop in various cultures of the ancient world. So, the soul ka appears before the court. Imagine you lost consciousness, then came to your senses, and you immediately hear question, have you killed, did you steal? But you can't understand anything. Where are you? What's happening? Probably this is how the soul felt when it changed the earthly world to the afterlife. Realizing this, the ancient Egyptians helped the soul. They added a hint to the burial. This is the text of the 125th chapter of the Egyptian Book of the Death, the so-called negative confession. And when the court asked question from this text, the deceased replied only no. The Book of the Dead, or more correctly, the chapters on the ascent to the light, are magical funeral formulas. The oldest belong to the pyramid texts and were found on the walls of the tomb of the pharaohs. In the transitional period, such texts were written on the sarcophagi of the Neubel's sarcophagus texts, and later it were written on papyri and placed on the chest of the mummies of the deceased. This collection consists of many contradictory texts and has more than 180 chapters. In addition to the negative confession, it was mandatory to weigh the head on the scales of the goddess Mart. Do you remember at the beginning of the video I said that the heart was returned to the mummy? The Egyptians believed that the heart stores information about everything that a person had done in life, good and bad. The good made the heart light and the bad made it heavy. By the way, even in our modern culture there are similar concepts. Either of the heart is said about a person who has no worries and fears. And stone on the heart is about someone who feels guilty. The heart was placed on one side of the scale, and the plumage of the goddess Maat was placed on the other. She was responsible for truth, law and justice. The balance meant that the deceased was acquitted and moved on. But if the heart was heavier, then the soul of the deceased was eaten by the monster ant, Hippocrocoline. And this was the final death, what the Egyptians feared the most. According to other versions, the souls who were heavy were sent to the Duart, the land of darkness, a deep, glummy and endless hell from which the keys of the Nile come out, or became demons in the retinue of Set. The results of the vein of the heart were recorded by the lot of time, the god of the moon, Thoth, the husband of Mart. The ancient Egyptians came up with a way to cheat vein. During mummification, an amulet in the form of a scarab beetle was placed on the hut with a magic spell. Hut, do not testify against me. 
the Egyptians believed that a beetle that rolls from east to west eats done balls with eggs of offspring until they ripen, repeating the way of the sun is associated with rebirth in the other world. In ancient Egypt, many magical amulets were invented for the transition to the afterlife. Ankh is the key of eternal life, the eye of Horus, images on the walls of tombs, and a magic formula in which the deceased posed as God, saying, I am Atum, I am Ra, I am Osiris, etc. Thus, the unique idea of judging the dead on their moral credit was debated. The soul, justified at the court of Osiris, went to the fields of Eal. This is the most fertile land, where barley grows four cubits high, spelt nine cubits high where there is a lot of food and drinks. The high of the cubit is about half a meter, then is an old forest of grain. And the fields of Aalo are surrounded by a wall of bronze. There is nothing unclean on them. But there is a small problem. Souls need to walk there. Blow, sow, water, etc. Otherwise, nothing will grow. However, if the deceased was rich, then in his tomb put figurines of walkers, Ushepti, who walk in his place. In the early period, the Ialo were in heaven, and there were only the god Ra and the deceased pharaoh. Later, it were moved underground and expanded the circle of inhabitants. The ideas about the fields of Ealu are ancient and widespread ideas about the afterlife as a continuation of the earthly one, where all the benefits in the afterlife are enjoyed only by those who had it in the earthly life. Speaking about ancient Egypt and ideas about the afterlife, it's impossible to ignore another resurrecting and dying god and one of the main gods of the pension, the sun god Ra. If Osiris died and rises every year, then Ra every day. Because, according to one version, in the evening he was always eaten by a serpent Apophis. In another, more popular one, during the day Ra sails along the heavenly Nile on the manjet boat, and in the evening he transfers to the mesectet boat and dispenses into the underground. There he sails along the underground Nile, white with apopis, and in the morning changes the boat again. The Egyptians believed in the victory of Ra, but they never really knew there would be tomorrow or not. While the sun god was sailing underground, the moon god Thoth was in the sky. Before going to heaven again, Ra bathed in a lake in the fields of Ial. When the day began, the dead came out of their tombs to warm up and some had the honor to get into a solar boat. Egyptian ideas about the afterlife absorbed the more ancient totemic and fetish beliefs, but also created new, unique ideas that were developed in other mythologies and religions. Dying and resurrecting God Immaculate Conception Fields Ialo, the prototype of paradise. Justice of the deceased. Assessment of moral qualities of a person. Determination of the fate of the deceased by the result of the court. A few souls. Journey to afterlife and return from it for God. 
That's probably all for today. In the next video, I will talk about the art of ancient Egypt, which was closely connected with religious beliefs and beliefs in the afterlife. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please like this video. If you find a mistake in my English, please write to me in the comments. Thank you for your attention.